So if somebody was having a lot of headaches, it could be a third eye chakra issue, a crown chakra issue, or it could be that they're just don't have the chakras balanced because they definitely go like a tower, one on top of the other. That's an important factor to keep in mind. You can get an idea about what chakra might be off balance, what might need some tuning by the way you feel. However, to you know, have a little check and make sure they're all spinning, so to speak, it really enhances. It's like a synergistic effect. And I know you came to this via really the, the functional practical body and you see this every single day. And we'll get to meridians in a second, but I really want to talk about how chakra imbalances show up on your table every single day. Oh, that's a great question. Just today, I had a patient who noticed that he was feeling unstable in his legs. Now, the legs are an extension of the root chakra. The root chakra is all about being in your body and feeling stable and grounded. So his legs, his knees were giving out. So as a structural expert, I checked all of the muscles involved, yet they were strong. So I started to ask him questions about, well, is there anything else going on? And sure enough, there you know, were some financial issues he was worried about and some health issues. And so when I explained, that it's all part of that root chakra. And we did a little meditation over it. I gave him some uh, ways to incorporate breath, breathing all the way down into that chakra. He stood up and I had him walk the length of the hallway and his legs were not giving away. He felt immediately stronger. So that was really um, like, oh gee, this is really um, integrated. So it's a truly part of what I do. It's not just physical and emotional. We've got an energetic component to consider. 